Hi guys. Uh, the market was down sharply on Friday, and uh, I just want to go through a quick, uh, give you a quick look at what I look at uh, for technicals. And um, coming in to this high, uh, volatility is normally very low near highs. And um, coming in, we had average ranges that were uh, very, very small. We have uh, uh, coming into this uh, less than uh, less than a one percent range intraday um, for a three point average. Um, as far as uh, points go, we're down to um, seven point four points on the ES uh, prior to this high here. We're around five and a half ES points on average um, for three day average range. Now we're on seven, seven to five point average range. You can start looking for uh, market turns. So those are a couple of warning uh, warning flags. We're really quiet market, um, and then also uh, for um, very short term coming into Friday, uh, two day RSI um, was again these mark very short term highs. Highs and lows, very overbought, 98.7. Um, and also our bigger picture, uh, internal in, internal gauges. Um, get down to the, uh, one second here, I'm sorry here. The um, intermediate term indicators here with the, uh, these have been, we had good, good, strong up move. This is positive all along. Uh, they crossed, and internals just haven't kept up with uh, this last run. Same here, not not the same velocity. Did make a uh, run here, but these did not confirm all along. So kind of a negative background here coming into the highs. Finally got the break that uh, that was been expected for quite some time. So bigger picture and. Uh, this is not looking really well. Let me um, another uh, warning flag. Things like the uh, McClellan oscillator. This is a um, uh, very very standard old technique for uh, for um, breadth internal the internals of the market um, advances declines after this this last rally. Did this sideways grind up? Did not have the participation. Um, or the rest of the market it was thinning out as we moved higher. The internals got thinner and thinner. Now um, Friday we're down really hard, so uh, bigger picture, down hard. Things look like they've changed here, um, but we have a couple caveats. Um, the first thing that, in, that stands out was the uh, closing trend. Um, on the NYSE was 3.5, 3.15 on um, on Friday. Um, this is a chart of the S&P 500 with a trend, closing trend. Um, this is the minus. This is a 3.00 line. You can see the last times that we reached closing trend at this at that level occurs near lows. Okay, after the markets come off a bit. They get a panic low, and then that's it. This occurred here. This is after the market came off a bit at panic low. Um, again, at the market made a high, came down really hard, and this was a one a one day affair, similar to what we have over here. We'll get back to that in a second. But did bring up market did rally uh, again 3.00. Let's see. 3.08 uh, closing trend and the market headed higher. Uh, and you know, over here again, a 3.45 closing trend. Market had a little up day and then another washout and then started higher again. Uh, and then again on um, the last closing trend above 3.00 was on uh, in February. The February 23rd low closing trend was over three, and we got a 
rally. Then on Friday, we have our closing trend, 3.15. Um, so that is kind of like uh, too much too fast. This was a one-day drop down here. The only similarity, normally they come after uh, after a, a grinding down, and then there's a final, final push to the downside where they panic them out. This happened on one day, and this happened on one day. This is the only times normally, like I said, they happen after a series of down days. Um, so, from these heights, can we turn around a one-day affair and head right back up? Um, doubtful, but we'll have to see on Monday. Um, and one other thing that has me with the heads up is another indicator that uh, proprietary indicator um, for short term, very short term, overbought, oversolds. This is very short term, oversold again. You know, it leads to pretty good bounces. Um, and then, as far as uh, internals, along with the um, the trend at 3.15 uh, on Friday, the closing thrust, uh, my thrust oscillator, uh, well down here, um, it can only go to minus 0.999 or minus 100 here. Let's see what that value is. It comes up at 0.99 there. So down, this is about as this is as far as you can go on the top. Uh, be a 0.999 at the top instead of a minus 0.999. Um, normally we get some kind of snapback either at the top or at the bottom when you get a close closing thrust near uh, 90 above 95 plus 0.95 or Minus 95, we generally get some kind of bounce. So, could we bounce on Monday to relieve this and then turn back down? That's uh, kind of what it's looking like. One other thing we'll look at real quick here for uh, sentiment. Um, we have two small buy signals here on Friday. Uh, the VIX was up big. Um, so, the five day RSI. Jumped above its, uh, its five days RSI got above 70. I would need to reverse to give a buy signal. Um, here's a closing chart of the VIX against the S&P 500 with 10% bands on both sides of a 10-day moving average. It popped above 10% above its 10-day moving average. That's generally uh, too far, too fast, and then we'll get the this VIX to come down while prices rally. Um, and the S&P to VIX ratio got really stretched up here. Um, more so than I believe at the uh, the high, uh, we were at uh, the all-time high, really close. It was up around 80s back then, but that's really close. Um, but sentiment overall, this is a put call ratio, 10 day put call ratio of the uh, index options. And very, very, very bullish um, crowd. Um, kind of got a wake up call on Friday. This sentiment, this overly bullish sentiment that we've had, will take some time to. Uh, uh, the reason I think this might be more than just. That, with the exception of possible up on Monday with the very short term oversold is that uh, sentiment just way too bullish and uh, any kind of bounce from this short term oversold condition should again set us up for uh, more downside. Okay, quick look at my technical indicators, um, internal indicators and um, what they're telling me right here and um, for Monday. Short term oversold with signs of a uh, panic, but one day off of an all time, or not an all time, but a high for the move. Um, one day off, the, off of a high for a panic to make a panic low, one day off of a high, kind of kind of rare. So heads up for that. It's probably uh, stay with this trend and watch our support resistance areas for um, signs of a turn. Okay.